Hello, I would like to do my tribute speech to my best friend. Um, her name is Rebecca, and I call her Becca, so that's just what we're going to call her. Um, I met Becca when I was in the sixth grade, probably. Um, and I don't even know what year that was. I couldn't even begin to tell you. Probably, let's see, nine, eight, seven, six, 2006, maybe? Uh, five, six, um, it's been a long time ago. Um, we met at a church. Um, we, uh, went to opposite schools actually. So we spent most of our time together for a while at church. Um, at that time our family was really involved at this specific church. So like they would come over all the time. We would have like get togethers. Um, sleepovers, like we would have like um, the young adults and teens come over and they would do like their Bible study and youth stuff and like her and I would just do like a little bit of Bible study and then like go off and do whatever girls do. And um, that's, that was just the beginning of a lifelong friendship. Um, so I don't even remember what year it was, but I used to be a very, very gullible person. And she reminds me of this all the time. Um, we <laughs> had applesauce and her and her uh, stepmom was like, oh, if you add like cinnamon and caramel in it, it'll taste just like caramel apple sauce. And I'm like, but no way. So I like go and get it. And I like, they're like, oh, you got to douse it. And I did. And I took a bite and I was like, mm, you know, like, yeah, I didn't want to hurt their feelings. And everybody starts laughing and I'm like, what? And they're like, oh my gosh, I never did that. Like, that is the most nastiest thing ever and they totally got me and she reminds me of that often and that's just like something we laugh about um and like as we grew older we were able to go to youth group together and uh we were at youth group all the time we were at church all the time and we got to go on a youth group retreat which is like i think we only stayed one night there and it was at this um like uh, called Raccoon Lake and we were all, it was crazy. Like the stuff that our parents let us do, they blindfolded us, threw us in this van and just like took off driving. And obviously our parents knew where we were going, but we didn't. And this was before cell phones, before tracking watches, stuff like that. Like we had nothing. Like I think like maybe like a cell phone was out, but none of us had it. And so we're like, where are we going? Where are we going? And we get there and it's like this um, lake house on Raccoon Lake. They couldn't even rent a boat because we were all poor. Uh, but we rented one night and uh, so Becca and I like we piled up and we just did everything together. I think we went swimming. And then as you get later, you know, girls get silly and we made this eyeshadow paste and we put it all over our face and like made our faces blue and like creepy and then we wrapped like towels around our head to look like zombies or something i have no idea what was going through our head at that point but it's just like little silly things that we did growing up and then you know they moved and then she eventually was able to go to high school with me and uh we went through high school together um and then i had children and moved away which i moved like an hour away but we still saw each other all the time um she was there um, not physically with me but shortly after my kids were born um and uh you know she stayed like my husband was in the military so and um with one of his jobs he had he had to travel very briefly but she would come and stay with me all the time um she would come and stay my kids loved her um another little story is you know that like intuition you get like somebody's watching me um so i have a my son is grown now he's a, almost 11 but when he was little he was auti he is autistic and 
was like nonverbal. And so he woke up before any of us and got out of bed and like got the remote and just was like holding it in her face while she's sleeping. And she goes, I had this feeling while I was sleeping that somebody was watching me and I like crack open an eye and have him standing there with the remote like, hey, can you turn the TV on for me? And it was just like, oh, there's a kid there. Like if you have kids or have had that situation happen, it's funny. And uh, we always called him Baby Evan. It was Baby Evan, Baby Evan. Now I can't call him Baby Evan because he gets very upset. But he'll always be Baby Evan. And she has always been a great aunt to my kids. She has um, took them in just like her own and treated them just like she would her own. And now she does have her own kids. So she has two kids. I had boy girl, she had girl boy. Um, but she, you know, we don't get to see each other now as often as we would like. We're both grown adults and I'm in school, work, she works. You know, we all have our own lives, but it doesn't matter. We pick up and we talk just like that. It's just like nothing is ever, no time has passed between the last time that we were together. Um, she always is there if I'm hurt. Um, you know, she's if I like am I not physically hurt like emotionally hurt she's the one I need to call you know if if she's going through something I got her you know tell me all about it um, and just a real true friend who will be there no matter what through no matter through everything I've been best friends with her longer than I've been with my husband and I've been with him for a long time so she's my real G from the OG, if that's how the kids say it nowadays. <laughs> um, but really, she is the best friend that anybody could ever have. Um, you know, her and I always have this, you know, if we go out to lunch, if I invite you to lunch and you can't pay, I got you. Don't worry about it. I don't want you to pay me back. I have it. And she's that way with me. And it's not, oh, let me pay you back. You know, you owe me $7. No, no, we, friendships keep no money. And um, that's just something that she's always done with me. And I know this video is really long and I could talk about her forever and ever and ever. But it's time to wrap it up. So I am just so thankful that I have a true best friend that I love very much and that I have been blessed with a friend like her because everybody deserves a friend like her. And we have each other's backs and we will be friends forever and ever. So thank you guys for watching and listening.